Hi, I'm Mala, and welcome to my classroom tour. Okay, this is my door. Um, I have the corner room, so there's a lot of condensation. So all of this is wet. So my mat actually is over there on the balcony drying out. So let's go inside so we can see my room. Starting from the door, I have my affirmation poster and I have these banners. And then we're gonna go around the room. So this is my computer cart. It is, it is color coordinated and those are books that my students take to the cafeteria. I did not clean up my room or do anything for this video. In a corner right here, we have anchor charts and then that back behind there is anchor charts as well. These are the books that my students are allowed to take to the cafeteria to read. We do a vocabulary word of the day and tomorrow the word is drenched. I have an ice maker and then this is my students login cards in case they forgot it. On the side of our computer cart, I have early finishers and they can pick whichever category they want. So we have math, ELA, science, and to create something. Under here is my microwave and my refrigerator. We are doing a science project and they had to bring in shaving cream. And those are the three cans I got so far. This is my treasure chest. This is my fish tank. It's a little cloudy. I don't know what's... It, I did put treatment in it, and I think I'm going to have to just take the water out. This guy right here is Mr. Spot. He's the only one that is in the tank. This is my student side. So over here, I have all the highlighters, markers, color pencils, and then inside of here, I have erasers. These are my pencils. That pink thing holds the dull pencils. These are all sharpened pencil and they just press the button and they get a pencil. That is my homework packet or my homework turning bin. So there's a packet in there. We have a box of tissue, a stack of books and a lamp. Um, these choice cabinets hold all my supplies. My first classroom tour has all everything. What's in the cabinets, I'll link it below. Nothing changed, but let's see. Everything is always organized and labeled because that is my style. So that's what's there. And I think this one has cleaning, so both of these have cleaning supplies. And then this is our class story. So it has our names with books on it and those are my kids' pictures. And they look something like this, you see. So that's the reading coach. She doesn't mind, she's been on my videos before. Over here at this table and under here, I'm a tutorer after school and that's all their supplies like i said everything is labeled i separate their items from my kids items this is our lost and found bin this is headphones this is our empty so everything that has run out we put it over there so i can get an idea of how much money i spend a year on supplies and how much i need on our bathroom we have our math keywords poster and then i do have a desk fairy um, her door was open. I do have a desk fairy. She does monitor clean desk and she leaves them treats and glitter. If someone is in the bathroom, they have this little thing to let us know. This is our fluency goals. Um, we clip up once we get to 12 and everyone has mastered the 12s. We'll have a party. This is my information center. Oh, this is my podium where I keep my mouse and keyboard. These are my fluency posters. I don't cover them because you know what you know what you don't, you don't. These are my cubes posters, my classroom rule, my one rule, our schedule, my markers. All of this is my student supplies. And let me show you. We have a re our read aloud and then my kids read a picture book to the class every single day. That is what's here. This is our rug. My students are allowed to walk on this rug. And these are decorative pillows. That lava lamp is hot, so that's why I keep it over here. Um, my reading coach just left my room borrowing stuff. And of course, she didn't put it back, but it normally looks like this. I do helpers of the week versus having 
a, a bunch of classroom jobs. Those helpers of the week do all the jobs. We have class rewards when we get a compliment in line. That silver bucket has all the happy faces that go in that reward jar. That's an anchor poster or chart for what we are learning this for the next two weeks. I do have our current working mode. We were in re work restaurant mode because we were working in a group. I also have my data back here. So that's our squaggles. This is my desk. I have a student who sit here because she just likes, I don't know, she just loves to sit here. This is my area. I do have a rolling cart of stuff that I would use while I'm sitting at my desk if I needed to do it. I don't typically sit down, but those are all my journals. That is this over here. These are all my students' journals. This is my small group table. I do have stools. Um, these are my stools and there are six here. Then this is my small group cart that I have over here. Then I have a recycle bin. This is my library. Those are my STEM bins. These are my rewards. The iPads are charging right now, so I do need to write <laughs> some prizes for them to spend. This is a reward jar, and then this is a gumball machine. This is my other part of my library. I do hang my student work. Um, everybody has a number, and that way everybody gets to put up their work, whether they want it or not. They let me know, and then I'll put it up. My back wall is my information wall. Um, this is all my math vocabulary. All these words that you see means in 50 different languages, all are welcome. Then this is what I am currently teaching, which it says what we're learning. So right now we're doing multiplication. We're talking about central idea, and that's another anchor chart. I do hang a lot of stuff from my ceiling. Speaking of ceiling, I do have a disco ball that rotates. And it does come on from time to time in my classroom. This side is voc is reading, and then this side is math. Whenever we're answering questions, we always use the race strategy, and that's what's there. These bins over here hold my kids' lunchbox. That's where I put them. They put their water bottles by the sink. My tutoring group, we are doing I Am Malala, so that's their books. And then my kids, eventually, once we start reading together, we are going to read Stuart Little. That's hand sanitizer. I do have this star thing I got from Star Hook. I think that's what you call it, right? And then I have my hall passes that I have customized um, with my name on it that my kids just put their hall passes there. This is an overview of my classroom with the lights on. Traditionally, I teach with the lights off. And this is how I teach. I do put lamps around my room so that way my students, if they have sensory issues or anything from the fluorescent lights above, I cut the lights off. And then if they need the lights, my room has a whole back wall of windows that has my science vocabulary. I sit them on that side of the room and then everybody else who don't mind being in the dark sit over here. It is well lit so they can see. Um, if I ever have a child that says that they cannot see, I will cut the lights on for everybody. But this is what my room looks like and this is what the disco looks like while the lights are off. That is it for my classroom tour. If you have any questions about anything, I do have in my Amazon storefront, I do have a link and of every single thing that I have bought, if it came from Amazon, if you don't see it there and you have a question about where I got something from, please feel free. More than likely it's from Hobby Lobby or Amazon. Maybe Michaels. But um, I will see you guys in my next vlog. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. I do post weekly vlogs outside of hauls because I'm always buying something, right? Um, but thank you so much for supporting me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.